Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am here today to share with you the two new color kits for May for Shimmers Paints. And here's the first one. This one is $15.95 and I'm going to list all the colors down below. This one includes one brand new color. And then this is the Missy Widden color kit. I helped put these colors together and I'm going to share a layout today that I'm going to make using all the goodies in the Missy kit. And so I've got everything out here and you're going to get two brand new colors in this color kit. Never released before. This one is an original shimmers mixture and it's called Iris My Case. And you'll be able to see it better here in a minute. Um, you get Inklings in Coral Reef, a beautiful peachy coral color. Another new color, this is Vibes Rip Van Periwinkle. And you can kind of see some of the lighter shimmery powders in the bottom there. This one is a very light, beautiful periwinkle color. And then you get a spritz in granny gray. And there at the bottom, you can see the shimmery, silvery powders in that one. So we've got some periwinkle, some coral, and some silvery gray. And these enamel dots, or epoxy dots rather, are exclusive to this kit only, and they match perfectly. And then we have a beautiful exclusive cut file that Paige Evans designed just for this kit. So you can only get this cut file if you purchase this kit. So I'm going to use a color photo today of me and my daughter, a really close up selfie. And I'm going to use white cardstock as my background. I like to use white as my background to showcase the new colors whenever I'm making a layout using these kits because I really want you to see what they look like and how you can achieve different layers and shades and variations on the colors and white is going to showcase that. So I thought I would do something different with this cut file and use it upside down. Now there's no right or wrong way to use these cut files. Um, you could also flip it around and use it at the bottom like your flowers are growing up from the ground. I thought I would do something different and let them come down from the top. And I also pulled out some pattern papers that I'll work with later. So I covered my whole sheet with gesso and let it dry. And this is just gonna allow the color. You can kind of see here how it runs and blends and it doesn't soak right through the paper. And that's what I want. I want everything to be able to run and blend and I wanna be able to spray lots of water on this and it not ruin the paper. And so the gesso is gonna protect the paper. So the first color that I used there was the Rip Van Periwinkle, and you can see what a beautiful color that is. And I kind of want this layout to be on the lighter side. Now look at the difference in these two colors. This one in the little pot here, the actual Shimmer's original paints, it's a lot thicker than the sprays. It's going to go on a lot thicker when you use your brush to paint it on. It's very, very rich in color, no matter which one you're using. And so what I'm going to do is kind of dilute it a little bit and spray water on it and allow it to get a lot lighter and kind of run and blend like I'm doing here. And even with the water, you can kind of see the difference in the spray versus the shimmers in the pot. So I'm going to try to do like some of the blues on the left side and then go with the coral on the right. And my whole idea behind this was to just to have a big color wash on the background and then I'm going to have the cut file lay on top of that. Now look at this coral. It's pretty thick too. When you get the inklings, it's going to be dry and you have to add water to that. And what I did was add water and let it just sit for a while and it's going to soften up the paint and it's nice and thick and look how it goes on. When, when the inklings dry, it's going to be almost like this sheer shimmer versus the spray and versus the shimmers that I used in the middle. They all have different finishes and you're able to get different looks. Now you can see what I'm talking about here. You can see the difference in the coral finish versus the one in the middle versus the one on the end. And let me say this, when you water these paints down, they do tend to be a little less shimmery. I've, I've learned that. And sometimes that's okay with me. I'm not necessarily, you know, concerned with the amount of shimmer on every single project I make. Sometimes I just want the color, but if you do want the true shimmer, then I wouldn't add much water to it. But um, I'm just showing you here what you can do. You can see the difference here. Now, once that first coat dried, I thought it was just a little bit light because I did add quite a bit of water. So all I'm going to do, I let it dry and then I'm going to come back over it again like I'm doing here 
with more coats. And so the more coats you add, the darker it's going to get. The more water you add, the lighter it's going to get. And so it's just a matter of, you know, what shade do you want? Um, how thick do you want the paint? Uh, what do you want it to look like? Do you want it to look like you painted it with a brush or do you want it to look more artsy and messy? You know, you could also use these with the, the packaging and smush the packaging down to, to get a completely different look. So there's a lot of different ideas and things that you can do here. Um, it's really limitless. It just depends on the look that you want and it depends on how dark you want your color. And it's just a matter of playing around with it. If you've never used these kind of paints before, if you do order this and you get them, just pull out some scrap paper and start to play around with it. You can really see the difference here when I'm splattering that coral right out of the pot versus how it looks when I added the water to it. See the difference there? So it really looks like multiple colors and it just depends on what you want. So I'm going to continue working on this background here. Um, I tend to overthink my backgrounds and I spend a ton of time on them, even though they look completely messy, but um, I want it to look just so. Now here's where I'm going to pull in the gray. I am going to use the gray later on also, but for now I'm just using it to splatter around on top of all these other colors because um, it's going to look like this shimmery silver at the end when everything is dry. And I love gold. I love using gold, but sometimes it's fun to change it up and go with a silver, a completely different metallic. And this one's pretty because it still looks gray, but it also is like a shimmery silver at the same time. Okay, so I pulled in a couple of 6x8 papers from Paige Evans' Turn the Page collection because they match exactly the look that I was going for here. I've got a softer coral or almost a peachy fleshy color paper and then a darker coral. And then this paper here, I've already used for something. This is from her New Horizon collection. And on the back of this paper is this here. And this is white and a, and a couple of different blues, kind of like a tile pattern. And so I just use a very old punch from my stash to punch out some of these flowers here. And I thought that it would be nice to just add some variation around the cut file using some papers to kind of pull in some different shades. So I'm going to very carefully start to glue down the cut file here and I'm using my little fine liner bottle there. Uh, I love that thing. It's very, very small and tiny and I'm using scotch tacky glue in there. So I didn't glue on every single piece of it. I wanted some of the flowers to be able to come up off the page for some dimension and I wanted my photo to be overlapped by that big, big flower down there that uh, the petal kind of comes right up underneath my my cheek and I love doing that if I have a photo and an embellishment or something where I can overlap it and it doesn't cover up anything important on the photo I love to do that because it just creates a lot of depth and dimension and it just looks like the photo was meant to be right there so I'm going to come in and start to play around with where I'm going to put all those little flowers and where I'm going to use the epoxy dots I'm going to tuck those in tightly around the photo on either side and then to add even more texture and color I'm going to come in with some tangled thread and I've got the perfect color to match that corally peachy color. I'm going to tuck some of that in underneath the left side there and then I've also got a darker periwinkle color picked out that matches those blues perfectly. And I'm going to use that one over to the left and it's going to add a nice pop of darker blue here and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. I just I love what thread can do. If you like getting messy and you like making mixed media layouts like this, I think thread is wonderful. You can also use thread on clean and neat layouts too, but um, I just think it adds to the whole messy artsy whimsical look and it just adds some really awesome texture and little pops of color. I love how that darker blue thread adds that pop of that color right there on the left. So I'm going to very carefully start to glue down all of these little punched flowers. I'm going to glue down the photo. And I made sure that the photo was kind of at an angle. I didn't want it perfectly straight. So I added some stickers. I thought I filmed this, but I must have forgot to film it. But I pulled some old, very old alphas, uh, alpha stickers from Bella Boulevard because I had some gray ones here and you can't really see it, but I'm playing around 
with um, the title. I wanted the word cuddle to be in it. These are from Pink Fresh Studio and they're the perfect periwinkle color. And I'm going to decide to just call this Sweet Cuddles because that's what she was doing. She came up and wanted to cuddle and tickle and hug and smooch on the cheeks and it was just too cute. Now this sticker here I pulled from a Chamel sticker book that's very old. I mean probably four years old. I don't even remember the name of the collection. But um, I had this little bin of random stuff and that was in there on my desk. And then this here is a little sticker sheet of foam stickers from I think Freckled Fawn from a while ago. And this little word here says snug. And I thought, whenever am I going to use the word snug on a layout, except on a layout about cuddles, because it reminds me of the word snuggle. And so I'm going to color it gray. And so all I did there was add some white gesso to kind of prep the, the foam. And then I just used the granny gray to color it gray, because I wanted to pull in some more of that gray. And what I'm going to do here is add in a little bit of light gray thread right there. And then I'm going to try to find a spot for this snug this kind of turned out to be a whatever's on my desk type of layout. And it's fun to do that because I got to use up some of my stash. And I had no idea that that little Lovely and Darling sticker was even in this bin. I pulled out that little Chamel sticker book and thought, let's look through here. There's probably nothing in it that will match. And lo and behold, that matched perfectly. So now I'm adding some more splatters with the Granny Gray to add a little bit more of a metallic shine. So now I've got phrases, a phrase on the left, I've got a phrase on the right, and then I've got the title down at the bottom. So I've got kind of a little downward shaped triangle of words. I'm going to add in some lines for journaling. Can't really see the word sweet from here. You can see it better in person because it's a uh, light gray stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and write my journaling in. and I'm just going to kind of wrap it around where my title is. And then to add some detail to the flowers, I'm going to pull in some sequins. These are all from Spiegel Mom's Scraps. She has the greatest selection of sequins. And they are actually featured a lot in the other color kits from Shimmers. So definitely check those out. Here you can see I just use those as centers. For the flowers. I used some light peachy pink ones, some clear ones, some white ones, and I feel like these kind of finish off the flowers and just give them a little bit of detail and again more texture. This is something else from my stash bin on my desk are these little Tim Holtz phrase stickers. I think this one says something like all the little things make up the one big thing or something like that. Um, I decided here to add a little something something to each side of the layout. So I just kind of did a little crooked cut there and I'm going to go back to those pattern papers that I used and back the sides with those papers. And I'm going to ruffle up the edges with some scissors and my little edge distressor. And it's just going to give a little bit of detail to the sides there and kind of echo the colors. So I tried to keep all the blue on the left side and then all the coral on the right, even though it's not perfectly centered because I wanted to use both of those blues. I'm almost finished here. I'm going to add the coral over to the right and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I really loved putting this together. I loved challenging myself with these fun and new color schemes. And this one was just so, so beautiful. And I hope that you're inspired by it. Again, this kit is available Wednesday morning, May the 1st, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And it's $20.95. I'll list all the links and everything that you need down below. And you'll be able to get the dots. You'll be able to get these four colors. Like I said, two of them are brand new. And you'll get the Paige Evans cut file, which is just beautiful. And I hope this has inspired you and given you some ideas to try with this kit. Um, I've really, really had a good time making it. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits or anything at all. And I'll be more than happy to answer. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. And make sure you share your Shimmers projects. Make sure you tag us or tag me on Instagram so we can see them. So thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in our next video.